Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos and I'm in a Maxus eDeliver 3 electric van and in this video I'm going to show you how you change the time on the clocks because these vans have two clocks, one on the head unit and another up there in the dash and they're not interlinked. So first off, let's do the less obvious one, which is changing the time up here on the dash. So you've got two buttons in the dash. The left one toggles through the various displays up here on the screen, and the right-hand side one changes the time. So what you do is push and hold for about two seconds, and you'll see there that the hours have, uh, are now flashing, and you do single pushes to select your uh, correct hour and then push and hold for about one and a half to two seconds to display the minutes. And again, simple quick pushes to get the correct minutes. And when you're ready, you can push and hold or just leave it. And after about three or four seconds there, the time is set. So next on the touch screen, this one is the older original interface and at the moment I've got the screen saver running there and we've got the time on the screen saver so we can put touch the screen to get rid of the screen saver. So to change that time up there in the corner, we go to the menu button, scroll across here to system settings and then we go to general and then we go across to time and this is where we can change our hours and minutes and then press OK. We can also change the time zone and the time format whether you want it to 24 hour or 12 hour clock and it's as simple as that. So I've now jumped into another uh, Maxus eDeliver 3 van and this one has got the newer interface here on the touch screen but to change that clock up here, it's exactly the same. It's just a different uh, layout. You go to the menu button and then you go to system settings, go to general, all the same. And then you scroll down to date and time. And this is where you can change the time here. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please do click that little thumbs up button on YouTube. That really does help the channel. And do subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next video.